The Magic Porridge Pot by Paul Galdon Once upon a time, long, long ago, a little girl and her mother lived in a small cottage at the end of the village street. They were so poor that often there was nothing to eat in the house but a small piece of bread. When their cupboard was bare, the little girl would go into the forest near the cottage to search for nuts and berries. One chilly morning, she wandered through the dark forest, but she could not find a single nut or berry. At last, the little girl sat down on a fallen tree and started to cry. There's no food for mother and me. What will we do? We're so hungry. Cheer up, my dear, said a pleasant but crackly voice. The little girl looked up in surprise to see an old woman who wore a long cloak and leaned on a crooked stick. Do not worry, my dear, said the old woman. You need never be hungry again. From under her cloak she drew out a small black pot. This is a magic pot, my dear. After you put it on the fire, you must say to it, boil, little pot, boil, and at once it will fill up with delicious porridge. When you have had all you can eat, you must say to it, Stop, little pot, stop! And the magic pot will stop boiling. Okay, thank you so much, said the little girl. Never forget the magic words, my dear, said the old woman. Never forget. And no sooner had she said this than she vanished. The little girl carried the pot home as fast as she could run through the forest. What have you there? her mother asked. This is a magic pot that will cook delicious porridge, the little girl explained. An old woman gave it to me in the forest. The little girl was eager to try out the magic pot. She set it on the fire and said, Boil, little pot, boil! Sure enough, delicious porridge bubbled up. When they had had all they could eat, the little girl said, Stop, little pot, stop! And the magic pot stopped boiling. For a long time, the little girl and her mother had as much porridge as they wanted and were very happy and contented. Then one day, the little girl decided to visit her friend at the other end of the village. The little girl was gone a long while and her mother began to be hungry. So she set the magic pot on the fire and said to it, Boil, little pot, boil! The porridge began to rise in the pot, and the mother dished out a nice bowlful. Soon, the porridge was bubbling at the top of the pot, but the mother had forgotten the magic words. The porridge kept on rising and began to spill over the rim. Halt, little pot, halt! the mother said. The porridge only boiled and bubbled over faster. Enough, little pot, enough! cried the mother trying to remember the right words. The porridge flowed down until it covered the floor of the cottage. The mother struggled to the door and she opened it wide to let the porridge flow out of the house. No more, little pot, no more, she shouted. The stream of delicious porridge flowed through the cottage door and onto the street. Down the street ran the mother screaming, cease, little pot, cease. But the porridge flowed on and on toward the very last house in the village where the little girl was visiting. When the mother reached the house, she called, Help! Help! The magic pot keeps boiling and boiling and boiling! At once, the little girl guessed what was wrong. So she waded into the thick, heavy porridge and ran home as fast as she could with her mother behind her. When the little girl reached the cottage, she cried, Stop, little pot! Stop! Stop, little pot! Stop! And the magic pot stopped boiling. Then everyone in the village came out into the street carrying dippers, spoons, cups, bowls, buckets, platters, pans, plates, and pitchers. They dipped up the porridge, and they scooped up the porridge, and they spooned up the porridge. There was enough porridge for everyone to feast on for days and days. After that, the little girl and her mother and the people of the village never went hungry. But they never forgot the words to stop the magic pot from boiling. Stop, little pot, stop. 
That was The Magic Porridge Pot by Paul Galdone. Thanks for watching.